When your dad started building a man cave in your bedroom, you knew it was time to start building something for yourself. Let's job it up. At CareerBuilder, we're ready to help at every stage of your search. Build a resume, get industry tips and advice, and apply to multiple jobs in just one click. Start your search at CareerBuilder.com. You coming to bed, hon? Yep. Honey, I'll be right there. Just got to turn out the light. Ow! 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 Ah! Go! Some things never change. Ow. Like your kids always leaving tiny toys on the floor for you to step on. Ow. And Geico saving folks lots of money on their car insurance. Sweetie, I think I left the downstairs light on. P- please don't make me go. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more. Wine of the ancient mariner, part of the first. It's an ancient mariner that he stuffeth one for free by thy long grey beard and glittering eye. Now where oh, for stopping fares of me? The bridegroom's doors are open wide. Am I not next of kin? Guests are met, the feast is set. Maybe here the merry din. He holds it with his skinny hand. There was a ship, quoth if he. Hold off and handed me, grey-bearded loon. Ephestoons his hand droop he. He holds him with glittering eye. The wedding guest stood still and listens like a three-year-old child. The America have his will. The wedding guest sat on a stone, he cannot c- cuss but heard. Thus spoke the ancient man, the bright-eyed mariner. The ship was cheered and the harbour cleared, merrily did he did we drop below the kirk, below the hill, below the lighthouse top. The sun came up upon the left, out of the sea came he. He shone bright and on the right went down into the sea. Higher and higher each day, Till over the mast at noon, the wedding guest, he had beat his breast, for he heard a loud bassoon. His bride had paced into the hall, red as a rose as she, nodding their heads before. She goes the merry Mr. Ministry. Wedding guest, he beat his breast, yet he cannot trust but hear that spoke on that ancient man, a bright-eyed mariner. And now the blown blast came, and he was torrent tor- and strong. He struck with his overwhelming wings and chased himself for long, with soaping mast and dripping brow, as who pursued we yell and blow. So he treads the shadows of his foe, the forward bends of his head. The ship before him drew fast, loud roared the blast. Southward, y'all, he f- we fled, and now came, there came both mist and snow. It grew wondrous cold. The ice mast high, climbed floating by, as green as emerald. And though the drifts of snowy cliff clips did send a drizzle sheen, those shapes of man or beast we keen. There's evil. Ice was all between. Ice was here, the ice was there, the ice was all around. It cracked and growled and roared and howled like noises in a shroud's wound. At length did cross an albatross through the fog it came as if it had been a Christian soul. He held it by God in God's name. He ate the food it never had ate and round and round it flew that ice did spit with floundering fit. Hellsman steered us through. A good south wind struck up, sprung up behind. Albatross did follow. And every day for food or play came to the barriers. Follow, hello. A mist or cloud or mass or shroud, it perched the Vespers nine. Well, as all the night through fog smoke of white, glimmered the white moonshine. God save thee, ancient mariner, for the fiends and the plagues thee thus. Why looks thou thou so with my 
crossbow, I shot the albatross. It's part of the second. The sun now rose upon the light, so out of the sea came he, still hid in the mist on the left, went down into the sea, and the god's south wind still blew behind, but no sweet bird did follow, nor did they for food or play came to the marriage hollow. I had done an earlish thing, it would couldn't work, oh, woe, to all revealed I had killed the bird and made the breeze to blow, O oh, wretch, said they, the bird to slay, they made a breeze to blow, nor dim, nor red, like God, own head, the glorious sun that was raced. In all of the year they had killed the bird that b- brought the fog and mist. That's right, they said, that birds to slay, to slay, they b- bring the fog and mist. The fair breeze blew, the white foam blew, the furrow followed free. We were the first that have ever burst into the silent sea. Dwelt down, went the breeze, the sails dwelt down. Their saddest sad could be, we did not speak only to break the silence of the sea. The silence of the sea, all in hot and copper sky, the bloody sun at noon. Right out above the mast did stand no bigger than the moon. Day after day, day after day, we struck nor breath nor motion, as idle as a painted ship upon a painted ocean. Water, water everywhere, all the balls did shrink. Water, water everywhere, nor any drop to drink. There very deep did rot, O oh Christ, eh, ever this should be. Ye as slim things did call with legs upon the slimy sea. Bow, about it, reel and rout, the death fires dance at night. Water like a witch royals, but green and blue and white. The sun in the dreams assured were of the spirit that plagued us so. Nine fathoms deep, he had followed us from the land of the mist and snow. Every tongue through utter drought was withered at the root. We could not speak no more than of it. We had been choked with soot. I, well a day, what evil looks had I from young, old and young, instead of the cross, the albatross about my head, neck was hung. Part three. There passed a weary time, each throat was parched. And glazed each eye a weary time, a weary time. How glared each other's, each weary eye. When weary, looking westward, I beheld as something in the sky. First it seemed a little speck, and then it seemed a miss. It moved and moved and looked, took a look. A certain shape I wished. A speck, a mist, a shape, and whist. I still it neared and neared. At, at first I dodged a water spite. It plunged and tackled and reared, with tongues as snorted, and black lips bait. We could not la- we could not laugh nor well for utter drought. All dumb we stood. I bit my arm and sucked the blood and cried a sail a sail. If folks a a slunt, the black lips bait a gate. They made me call. Great mercy, they were joy did grin. They at once their breaths draw in, as they were drinking all. See, see, I cried, she taxed no more, hither the work this will. Without a breeze, without a tide, she steadies with upright kill. A western wave is all aflame, the day was well nigh done. Almost upon the western wave rested a broad, bright sun. The strange shape rove suddenly bewitched us the sun. And straight the sun was flecked with bars. Heaven's mother sent us grace, and though a dungeon great we peered the broad and brown face. Alas, for the eye, my heart beat, beat loud. How far she nears and nears. And for the, all those her sails, a glance the sun, like restless gossamers. And there's her ribs through which the sun did peers through a grate. And is that woman all her crew? Is that a death? Are there, are there two? 
You deft a woman's mate, that woman's mate. Her lips were red, her looks were free, her locks were yellow as gold, her skin was white as leprosy, a nightmare left in a death was she, who think fix men's blood with cold. The wicked hulk alongside came, a twain came were casting dice. The game is done, I won, I won. Oh, she whistles twice. A sudden rain dips and stars rush out. One, a one strike comes the dark. This fair herd whisper over the sea. Off shot the spectre bark. We listen and look sideways up. Fear of my heart to get the cup. At the cup of my life's blood seemed to sip. The stars are dim and thick the light. The stars steam in his face by his lamp gleam white. The sails are drew did trip. Till cum cumie calamity above the eastern bar, hoon and moan, with, with the whole moon with one bright star within the nivid dip, one after another by the dog star dog moon, too quick for groan or a sigh. Each turn his his face was a ghastly pang, a curse me with his eye. Four times fifty living men. I heard not a sigh nor groan. With heavy fat, a lifeless lump, they dropped down one by one. Their souls did their bodies fly. They flew, fled to bliss or woe. And every soul it passed me by lay the whiz of my crossbow. Part the fourth. I hear thee, I fear thee, ancient Maria, I fear thy skinny hand. I laughed long, long, long and lank and brown, as is the ribbed, as is as is the ribbed sea sand. I fear thee in thy glittering eye, thy skinny hand so brown. Fear not, fear not, thou green wedding guest. His body dwelt not down. Alone, alone, all alone, alone on the wild, wide sea, wide sea, and ever saints took pity on. My soul in agony. And many men so beautiful and all dead did lie. A thousand, thousand slimy things live on and so did I. I looked upon the rotting sea and drew my eyes away. I looked upon the rotting deck and there the dead men lay. I took to heaven and tried to pray, but I even or ever a prayer had a gussist. A wicked whisper came and made my heart as dry as dust. I closed my lids and kept them closed. The balls like pulse beat. The sky and the sea, the sea and the sky lay like a load. My weary eye, the dead were on my were at my feet. The cold sweat metals from their limbs nor rot nor reek did they. They looked with which they looked on me. Had never passed away. Orphans curse would drag to hell with spirit on high. Oh, more horrible than that. His curse is dead men's eye. Seven days, seven nights I saw that curse, and yet I could not die. The moony moon went on, went up the sky, and nowhere did they bide. Softly she was coming up, and a star or two beside. Her beam bismuck the sultry main like April hall frost spread. But where the ship's huge shadow lay, the charm world to burnt away any world way. A still and awful red beyond the shadow of the ship. I watched the water snakes. They moved in tracks and shiny white. And then they reared as elfish light. Fair all off its holy, hoary flakes. In the shadow of the ship, I watched their rich attire. Blue, glossy green and velvet black, they curled and swam. Each track was a flash of golden fire. Happy living things, no tongue, their beauty might declare. A spring of love gushed from my heart, and I blessed them unaware. Says my kind saint took pity on me and blessed them unaware. I same self same moment I could pray, and from my neck so free the albatross fell off and sank. They led into the sea. Part the fifth. 
As I oh, sleep is a gentle thing, but her love from pole to pole. To Mary, Queen, the praise to be given. She sent the gentle sleep from heaven. It said into my soul. The silly buckets on the deck, they so long remained. I dreamt they were filled with drew. When I woke, it rained. My lips were wet and my throat was cold. My garments all were dank. Still I drank, drunken in my dreams. I still my body drank. I moved, I could not feel my limbs. I was so light almost. I thought I had all died in sleep. I was a blessed ghost. And soon I heard a roaring wind. It did not, not come nearer. But it was sound, it shook the sails. They were so thin and sear. Yet that time you got home from a week of double shifts and your dog didn't recognize you. Let's go. Hey, hey, it's me. Hey, it's me. Do you want a treat? You want a treat? Oh. You knew it was time for something new. Let's job it up. At CareerBuilder, you can find jobs with the work-life balance and salary you want. Plus, build a resume and apply to multiple jobs in just one click. Start your search at CareerBuilder.com. Boats up in air burst in life. A hundred flag, fire flags sheen. To and fro they were hurried about. To and fro and in and out. Then the waning stars danced between. And coming wind did roar more loud. And the sails did sigh like sledge. And the main poured down from one black cloud. The moon was at its edge. The thick black cloud was cleft, and still the moon was its on its side, like water shot from some high crag. The lightning fell from a never jag, and the river steep and wide. The long wind never reached the ship, yet now the ship moved on. Beneath the mountain and the moon, the dead man gave a groan. They groaned, they stirred, they rode all a row, but rose at spank, nor moved their eyes. It had been strange, been in a, even in a dream, to have seen what those dead men rise. Husband steered on ship, moved on, yet never a breeze up blew. The marriers all gain work, the ropes where they had, were and want to do. They raise their limbs like t- lifeless tools. We were a ghastly crew. The body of my brother's son stood by me, knee to knee. Body had pulled up one rope, but he but he said no to me. I fear thee, ancient Maria. Be calm now, get and guess. There was not one of those souls that fled in pain. Which of those corpses came again? But a troop of spirits blessed. And when it's dawn, they dropped their arms and clustered round the mast. Three sounds arose so slowly through their mouths and from their bodies passed. Around, around flew each sound, a blast to the sun. Slowly the sounds came back again, now mixed, well, now one by one. Sometimes a dropping from the sky, a herd of um, skylarks sing. Sometimes mole birds have that ah, how they seem to fill the air, and sea and air with their soft jargoning. And now this like was like instruments, now like a lovely flute. And now it is an angel's song that makes the heavens be mute. It sees yet still the cells made on, a pleasant noise till dawn, a noise like of a hidden brook in a mouthy, leafy moon, mouth, month of June, that to be sleeping woods at all night, singeth as a quiet tune. Till noon we quietly sailed on, yet never breathed to breathe slowly and smoothly, met the, went the ship, moved onward from beneath. Under keel nine fathom deep, for the land of mist and snow, the spirit slid, and was it was he, and made the ship to go, the sails at noon left their tune, and the ship stood also Still also, the sun right up above the mast that had fixed her to the ocean, but in a minute she gained stir with a sharp, sharp, uneasy motion, back up, woods and moved forwards, half a lower length, with a short, uneasy motion, like then like a pouring horse let go, she made a sudden bound, it flung the blood into my hand, head, 
I fell down into a swoon. And how long in, it, in a sea fit I lay, have not to, I have not to declare. But here my living life returned. I heard my soul discern to voices in the air. It is he, quoth it one. Is this the man, by the man him, who cur- died on cross from his cruel blow? He did lay full low, the helpless albatross. His spirit who died if by himself, a land of mist and snow. He loved the man, I loved the man who shot him with his bow. The other was a softer voice, as soft as honey dew, cover he, a man had present penance done, and penance more will, and penance more will do. Part the six. First voice, tell me, tell me, speak again, the thigh's sweet, sweet, soft response renewing. What makes this ship drive so fast? What is the ocean doing? Second voice, still let us save before his lord, the ocean, but have no blast. His great bright eyes, most sightly, up to the moon is cast. For he may know which way to go, for she guides him smooch or grin. See, brother, see how graciously she looketh down on him. First voice, but why drives on, but why drives on that ship so fast without a wave or wind? Second voice. The air is cut away before and closes from behind. Fly, brother, fly, more high, more high, be sh- or shall be belated. The slow and slow the ship will go when the mariner's trance is abated. I woke and we were standing on in a gentle weather. Tis night, no calm night, the moon was high, the dead men stood together. All stood together on the deck for a channel dungeon filter. All fixed on me with their stony eyes, that in the moon did glitter, the pang, the curse of which they died, and never passed away. I could not draw my eyes from theirs, nor turn them up to pray. And now this spell I have snapped it. Once more I viewed the ocean green, and looked far forth, yet little saw of what else had been seen. Like one on that lonesome road does walk with fear and dread, having once turned around, walks on and turns and no more his head, because he knows a frightened fiend does close behind him tread. But soon they breathe and wind on me, or sound or motion made. His path was not, not upon the sea, it rippled or in a ripple or in a shade. Raise my hair, it fanned my cheek, like a metal girl would spring, it mingled strangely with my fears, yet it felt like a welcome on him. Swiftly, swiftly flew the ship, she yet sailed softly too, sweetly, sweetly blew the breeze, oh me, let, oh me, let alone it blew. Oh, dream of joy, it is in this indeed, a slight house top I see. Oh, is this the hill, is this the kirk, it is my own country. He drifted over the par the harbour bar. I was subs to pray. Oh, let me awake, my God. Oh, let me sleep away. Harbour's bay was clear as glass. And so smoothly was it strewn. On the bay, on the moonlit lay, and the shadow of the moon. The rock shone bright, the curt no less. The stands above the rock, the moonlight steeped in night, soundless. A steady weathercock. The bay, the bay was white as silent night light, till rising from the same, for all many shapes of shadows were, in crimson colours came, a little distance from the prow, these crimson shadows were. I turned my eyes upon the deck, oh Christ, what I saw there. Some corpse lay flat, flatless and, lifeless and flat, and by the holy road, a man all light, a Sephiroth man, on every corpse was there stood, their Sephiroth band, each wave of his hand, it is heavenly sight, they stood as signs to the land, each one a lovely sight. Their spirit and band, each waved his hand, no wave did they part 
my voice did they part the voice but oh the silent sank like my music on my heart but soon i heard a dash of oars i heard the pilot's cheer my head was turned prone false away i heard a boat i heard saw a boat appear a pilot of the pilot's boy heard him coming fast dear lord in heaven it was a joy the dead men could not blast i saw a third i heard his voice it is a helmet good he singeth loud his godly hymns and makes it he makes it in the wood he shraveth my soul he wash away the albatross's blood part the seventh this hermit good lives in that wood which slopes down to the sea he loud his soft voice he rears he loves to talk with the mariners they that come from far country he kneels at morn and noon and eve he have the conniff cushion plump in his moss that holy hides a rotten old oak stump the skiff boat neared i heard them talk why is this why is this strange i trow where are those whose lights so many and fair the signal might made but no not but now strange my by faith and home it said they answered not our cheer a planks look well but won't and see those sails for how thin they are and see i never used aught like them like to them unless perchance it were grand skeletons of leaves that lag my forest brook along but the ivy of tad is heavy with snow and the outlet whoops the wolves below, the east the she wolves young. Dear Lord, a hith haveth a fiendish look, pilot made rapidly. I have feared, push on, push on, said the hermit clearly. A boat came to the ship. I did not, I not spank nor stirred. A boat came close beneath the ship. A straight, straight a sound was heard. And the water it rumbled on, that still louder and still as more dread. I reached the ship, it spat the, split the bay. The ship went down like lead. Done by the loud and dreadful sound, with sky and ocean smote, smote. Like one that have been seven days around, my body lay afloat. The swift as dreams, myself I found, within the pilot's boat. Upon the well, I well sank the ship, and boat swung round and round, and all was still save that hill was telling me of the sound i moved my lips a pilot shrieked and fell down in a fit a holy hermit raised his eyes and prayed where he did sit i felt the oars of the pilot boy whom and now both crazy go laughed loud and long and all the while my, his eyes went to and fro Ha, ha, quoth he, full plain, I see, to ever knows how to row. And now all in my own county I had stood on the firm land. Hermit stepped forth from the boat, and fierce Cersei had could he stand. O receive thee, O receive me, holy man, and the hermit crossed his brow. Cray quick, quoth of me, I bid thee say, what man of man art thou? Then is, for with this false frame of mine was wretched with a woeful agony which forced me to begin my tale and then it left me free since then my at a sudden hour is only to return and still my ghastly tale is told the heart within me burns i pass like night from land to land i am strange power of speech the moment that i his face i see i know the man that must hear me to him my tale my reach teach or loud up roar boast from that door, a wedding guests are here there, by the garden bower, the bride and bride bride mother may swing ah oh, the hark a little vessel bell, which hidden me to prayer, but if which biddeth me to prayer, O oh, wedding guest this soul have been alone on a wild, wild sea. So lonely was the god of himself, Scaeus, seen there to be, oh, sweeter than a marriage feast, it's so sweeter far to me, to walk with, together to the kirk, a godly good company. 
to walk together to the kirk and all together pray while well, each of his great uncle father bends old men and babes and lo- loving friends youths and maidens gay farewell farewell but this i tell to thee thou though willing guest in prayer f- they tell who lowest will both man and bird and breast beast he prayeth best who loveth best who all things both great and small for the day of God love us love us he made and loveth all a mare's eyes bright whose beard and his age is hoar he is gone and now the wedding guests turn from the went by room door he would like to he would like, like one that have been stunned and his sense forlorn a sad and wiser man he rose the morning morn. Mail's here. It's two minutes later than yesterday. And because you know it's six minutes earlier than the day before... You decided it was time to get back to work. Let's job it up. At CareerBuilder, we're ready to help at every stage of your search. Build a resume, get industry tips and advice, and apply to multiple jobs in just one click. Get started now at CareerBuilder.com.